She messaged me saying, trans youth deserve life-saving affirmative care. You can quote me on that. To which I replied, and you're going to make one superb prison bitch. Quote me on that. Oh, hey. Welcome back to my channel. We are gathered here today to drag the ever-living out of a disgusting ass, predatory ass, loser ass, dumpster juice ass, bottom of the barrel ass trans activist named Eli Ehrlich. Now, I know I've done videos on a ton of really awful people on this channel. This one's gonna take the cake. This is gonna go down in history. This is one of the absolute worst, if not the worst. Actually, it's the worst. And you know, I had a fun video for once planned this week. I think I'm gonna post it at the end of this week, uh, but this one just seemed a lot more urgent to me to make. And I've genuinely been trying to take a step back from making these predator videos, especially these trans predator videos, because honestly, a mental health cannot be in tip top shape if I'm consistently like familiarizing myself with these awful stories, these awful people, the details of their cases, and like that can't be good for my brain. Not that my mental health isn't already like completely shot. <laughs> I'm a girl. So Eli has been making headlines for publicizing and admitting to operating an illegal drug trafficking scheme aimed at providing hormones and trans-specific drugs to underage children. Now, that's already incredibly depraved, right? Like, honestly, the video could just end there and we could just write this person off as like, this is a monster. Yeah, for real. And you may have seen people like libs of TikTok and Matt Walsh. You definitely don't want Matt Walsh on your ass. Going after Eli and justifiably so. I completely support the fact that they are attacking Eli and trying to get the law on this person because you can not be sending drugs to children over the internet and think you're a righteous person, think that you're a moral person, think that you're doing the right thing. But that's just one aspect of the story. What's come to light about Eli is even worse, actually, that there are years of rape allegations, sexual assault allegations against Eli that are now surfacing because of the illegal drug trafficking scheme. So there's layers to the depravity here. There's levels to the shit. So we're just going to get through it one thing at a time. Let's start with the illegal drug trafficking scheme. So in a since deleted post, she said, there are over 20 states trying to criminalize hormone therapy, particularly for trans youth for good reason. Just my take. Uh, so my friends and I had an idea sending out our extra prescriptions around the country. Sounds completely safe. If you need hormones, I'm working with the distribution network to get you access. Everything is free, no questions asked. We have hundreds of doses of testosterone, estradiol, spironolactone available right now. All are prescribed by doctors and unused. You're not a doctor though, Eli, so the fact that you think you can give children whose bodies are still developing drugs like you're going to hell. Anyways, each package comes with information on dosage, obtaining blood work, etc. I realize this is only a band-aid solution. We need full access to affirmative medical care from professionals immediately. However, missing a single dose of hormones can be devastating, especially for trans teens and those new to hormones. These laws are outrageous. Yeah, so outrageous. People want to protect kids from making permanent body decisions. So outrageous and i can't wait for them to be overturned in the meantime dm me if you need hrt or if you have overprescribed hormones you'd like to send out so we're going to break down the depravity here eli wants to send drugs out to children all across the country drugs that cause permanent bodily damage and changes to the people who take them drugs that are very serious and thinks that she's the moral person the righteous person and is some sort of modern day harriet tubman you ain't harriet tubman bitch you ain't running no Underground Railroad, like you're a piece of sh And anytime you're publicly asking minors to DM you, a little bit of a red flag is popping up, especially when you understand the accusations against Eli from years prior, they're gonna make the whole asking minors to DM me thing even more fucked up, but we'll get to that. You know, Eli is not a doctor. What happens when these kids who are taking these very serious drugs at your hands, Eli, have issues, have negative reactions, have bodily changes they regret? You're not gonna be on the hook, are you? No, because you're, operating in the black market. Although it's not that black of a market considering you're admitting it online. At first I was like, you know what? The fact that Eli is willing to publicly state that she's committing a felony and operating an illegal drug trafficking scheme aimed at minors, it takes some balls to do that, right? Like no pun intended, or was it? <laughs> I was thinking, wow, she's really delusional to think that she's not gonna get in trouble, but you know what? It's not actually delusion, it's reality. People like this are so accustomed to escaping consequences that it means nothing for her to post this. You slap the word trans in front of your name or trans in front of what you're doing and you can get away with a lot of Now, as someone who has been on hormone replacement therapy for almost a decade now because I've been 
is getting old. I can tell you that these drugs can absolutely ravage your body if you are not very precisely dosing them, if you're not under the strict, like watchful eye of a doctor who knows what your body needs, who's monitoring your levels of both testosterone and estrogen because you have to have both, trans people included. Also, testosterone in particular is a schedule three drug that is very strictly regulated. It's very powerful. It's very dangerous to take without doctor supervision. And the fact that she wants to give it to kids is just so demented. Not to mention a felony. You're going to jail, baby. You're going to jail. Imagine being the parent of a child who is receiving drugs from this freak over the internet and you find out however long after it starts happening. I can't. So I reached out to Eli, seeing if she had anything to say for herself, any sort of statement to give me for this video because clearly a bitch is gonna make this video. And she messaged me saying, trans youth deserve life-saving affirmative care. You can quote me on that. To which I replied, and you're gonna make one superb prison Quote me on that. Because, period. <laughs> also, can I just say these creepy pictures like glorifying the drugs themselves? It's like, ew. So Matt Walsh has been knocking on the door of the FBI, apparently trying to get this person taken care of. And I completely support that. Like. This person needs to be locked up. This person needs to be behind bars. It's, it's, a, it's a wrap. And this is a wrap before I even tell you about the other shit, which is actually worse if you can believe it. So the illegal drug trafficking scheme aimed at minors <laughs> brought other allegations to light. Back in 2018, there was a young woman who accused Eli of f***ing her until she bled against her will. The victim was apparently a volunteer in Eli's organization. So right there you see the power dynamic and the power imbalance. The alleged victim specifically said, I do not trust Eli Ehrlich with vulnerable young trans people, especially trans people of color, looking for a hero when they never see their experience represented. This was in 2017 and now in 2022 you have Eli saying, all the trans kids need to DM me and I'll give you drugs. Like what? A very common thread in a lot of the accusations is that Eli does target African-American women and that they're all trans identified as well. Now I know that I'm kind of like the black sheep of the trans community, I get it. Even though you would think in a sane world this fucking freak would be, but whatever. However, I know a lot of people in the community and from the last week of talking to people that I know who have been in contact with Eli in certain circles, it's a very small community. It is a very known thing here at this point that Eli is a sexual abuser and yet still gets this weird pass. I don't fucking get it because this actually has come to light at certain times throughout the years. At one point, Eli had written an article for an LGBT website called Into, and when people were commenting saying, why are you guys hiring a sexual abuser? This is a very known thing about this person. They took the article down and cut all ties with Eli. Like there are actually an insane amount of posts on social media throughout the years with consistent narratives and stories about Eli. I'm just gonna read some of them here because why not? Hi, Eli Ehrlich me and her and fuck this article i'm gonna go listen to ariana grande that's kind of funny eli ehrlich is an abuser and rapist mostly of qt poc i don't even know what that means but i'm assuming the poc means african-american and that is the case that a lot of these victims are african-american the author of this is a trans woman who had me removed from u-haul nightclub because i called him out for harassing me it's known in the bay area's queer community that he's admitted to being a rapist, fitted multiple women until their and forced them to have piv sex the f thing seems to be a common thread. So semi-interesting personal story here about Eli. I remember weeks ago before the story even broke about the drug trafficking scheme and the allegations that she actually left a vomit emoji on my Instagram that's on one of my pictures. I don't even have a screenshot because I didn't care that much. But I remember Eli just deciding to leave a little hate comment on my Instagram. So funny that now this has come out. She's getting a lot of hate comments and I encourage them. Now here's another issue I have here. When you Google, we're gonna Google together, Eli Ehrlich, right? The articles that come up when you select the little news tab, here's how Google, who has a clear left-leaning bias, handles these kinds of stories. You Google Eli Ehrlich, select news, it says, conservatives accuse trans activists of illegally sending hormone drugs to children, citing social media. Drugs to children, in quotations, trying to lessen the blow. Conservatives accuse. Why does it have to be a conservative thing? Because I've seen a lot of people on social media, including my supporters, when I talk about this on my Instagram story, for which I have a very mixed political bag that follows me, believe it or not. I know my detractors like to say they're all conservatives, not the case, who are equally as disturbed by the story. Next headline, who was Eli Ehrlich? Activist comes under fire by libs of TikTok. So right off the bat, this is communicating to left-leaning people. Oh, this is someone being attacked by conservatives, you know, libs of TikTok, these right-wingers. You're lessening the blow. 
and it, and it immediately has the psychological effect to people on that side of the political spectrum to say, at least in some instances, oh, this is one of our people that is being attacked by conservatives. Oh, so typical trans person being attacked by conservatives. This is not typical. Eli is being called out for very valid reasons. And if you disagree, you need to get your head checked. And then other articles that seem to make Eli the victim Matt Walsh accused of luring trans people into anti-trans doc, the dangerous deception of Matt Walsh's documentary. At this point, no one should be under any delusion that when you throw the word trans in front of something, suddenly consequences don't really mean shit. And honestly, the fact that Eli hasn't been arrested, this has been going on for about a week or two, people calling Eli out, the fact that there has been no legal action is really disgusting to me. I encourage every single person watching this, if you live in New York, like, Tell the police, tell the police what's happening. Like get this person, where's the accountability? Because if this was any other person posting on social media, minors DM me, I wanna send you drugs. It would be national headlines. The person would be absolutely like destroyed legally. It'd be a disaster. And yet, because it's a trans activist, suddenly people are willing to be like, well, it's not that bad. And it's just conservatives attacking her. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just right wingers. Even when I was calling Eli out on Instagram the other day, some of you may have seen if you follow me on there, which you should. Uh, her response was sunglass emojis. She thinks it's cool. She thinks it's cool what she's doing. And that cockiness, no pun, actually yes pun, is based on the fact that she knows that the chances of her actually facing consequences for this are incredibly low, if not zero. And that's f***ed up. There are journalists actually defending Eli, this woman named Alejandra Carabello, who works for Slate and Wired, talking about how there's threats against Eli and how this is so wrong. Alejandra, there's this little thing called priorities. How about before you sympathize with someone who's getting death threats online for being a racist, having an illegal drug trafficking scheme aimed at minors, maybe before you speak up and care about whether she's getting death threats or not, you care about the children, the rape victims. If not all the rape victims, maybe just the one that committed suicide, fuck you. Even today, Eli tweeted, the hardest part about being trans is the way cis people treat us. <laughs> Oh, poor Eli. All oh, the poor getting treated so badly by cis people. All oh, the poor drug trafficker. <laughs> Demented. I truly appreciate the overwhelming support you have all given these past days. Trans misogyny is an epidemic, but together, I know we can defeat it. Trans misogyny. That's what this person thinks is being launched at them. That's how fucking crazy they are. So here's the deal. I would like everyone to inform the DEA of what's happening. I'll put that link in the description. With that being said, I'm gonna go try to get my blood pressure uh, down. So I love you guys. Make sure you follow this channel as well as my second channel where I have my weekly podcast. So much fun doing that. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.